Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And this is a very um, an energy of planning. So I do see here someone is planning the future, thinking about the future of this connection and trying to make plans. They are actively wanting to make plans. This person sees the future with you and they are thinking ahead. And I do see with this um, energy, there is a sense that this could be someone who is of a different background than you or um, they may be from a different part of the world. Um, there is something about them that is um, different or you may have met them online or on a dating app or something like that. But there is a sense of this person really thinking, making plans for the future and thinking about the future of this connection. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Gemini. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Eight of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Next, we have the Lovers, Gemini Energy. This is your energy, or you could be dealing with another Gemini. And finally, we have the Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so I am seeing this person i'm seeing that you guys are on the same page um i do see with the lovers card that you both feel this um intense connection it is a mutually felt one and there is um you know a strong pull towards each other you both feel very strongly for each other and this person is working on themselves and um willing to put in the time the effort to make this connection work with that eight of pentacles they are really um committed to this um, this is an energy of trying to do things properly and we do see a lot of planning energy so this person is really wanting to work on this connection and with this page of swords i see them studying you and learning about you um, there is a genuine curiosity and interest towards you this person they find you very fascinating they are in love with your mind they want to know how your mind works they really want to understand you throughout and i am seeing them putting a lot of effort towards doing that and they are just very um i am seeing passion as well as um, mental stimulation with that page of swords and with the lovers i do see a lot of passion and also the lovers is a card of being at a crossroads so i am seeing this person is wanting to move things to the next level they are making some important decisions about the connection they want to include you in these decisions and they they are making plans about the future so this person is really Really, um, invested in this they are really serious about this okay so let's clarify these cards Gemini
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool card. Okay, so this is um, Aquarius Aries energy, and this is an energy of, you know, uh, being open to something, taking that leap of faith, um, really having an open mind and ready to embark on a new journey. Very optimistic energy. This person is very ready for this. And I, again, I am seeing a very foreign energy with this person. So they may be different from you or different than your usual type, or they may just be of a different background there's something about them that's very different with this energy but i do see them being open to this new journey and very optimistic energy and i do see uh, that the universe really is protecting and supportive of this so there is divine con um, protection as well involved here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay so the first card we have here is the ace of cups this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy Next, we have the Devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And finally, we have the King of Wands, Fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. So again, with that Ace of Cups, I'm seeing an offer here. This person is ready now. They are making their emotional um, feelings and thought and intentions known to you. This person, I am seeing them being very invested. Their feelings are very intense and um, there is a sense of their feelings overflowing. They cannot keep these feelings to themselves. They have to ex um to express them or else they, will, they feel like they will explode they will burst there's a lot of love here it's overflowing and with the devil card there being in the reverse i do see that this person they match your energy there is even almost like a murdering energy about this um, connection so you may both feel the same way um, you may be uh, going about this connection the same way or you guys may even have you know you could be dealing with another Gemini or you could just have matching signs or something in common. But I also see um, some sort of mirroring energy. And this person is offering a love that is healthy. With the devil being in the reverse, they are looking to be in a connection that's not um, codependent. Their offer is genuine and um, coming from the heart space. It's pure. Um, I am seeing that there are no strings attached um, to this offer. It is... Uh, purely heartfelt and sincere so this person feels a strong connection with you um, there is passion there is mental stimulation and there is also practicality this person is thinking about how they can make this work with you they are thinking long term and they are ready to have this with you and with this king of wands they are initiating this they are taking the lead they are um you know you know pursuing they are making this happen and they there is a very confident energy about them i see this person as someone who isn't afraid to go for what they want so they are with the full card and that king of wands this is the type of person who you know believes in what they want and goes after it they are used to getting what they want and they are very confident okay so um i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you gemini Okay, so the card says, luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So I do see a lot of divine protection with this full card and this um, luck is on your side energy. So this is actually a connection that is favored by the universe. I am seeing things, there won't be a lot of obstacles for this love. There is a sense of things just working out, um, you know, there's there won't be too many challenges here for these lovers and um, this new beginning is one that will be, um, I am seeing effortless, almost like lucky. There won't be a lot of um, objections or challenges or um, obstacles. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull out another card for you, Gemini. Okay, so the card says red rose hidden secrets three things cannot be long hidden the sun the moon and the truth 
Okay, so I am seeing here with this Ace of Cups energy, this is this person really expressing their love and their um, intentions towards you. There is a sense that it's so intense. There's just so much, um, you know, feelings that they have that they cannot hide them. They cannot suppress them. Um, so they just pour out, overflow. So I'm seeing this person being very genuine and very honest with you and expressive towards you. Um, this person is really um, invested um, emotionally and uh, there is a sense of they have reached that point where they are in too deep and they want to move things to the next level with you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.